hi hello just a minute hello today we shall be we shall be forecasting forecasting using var model and here we have data on gas prices of three cities such as Dhaka, then Barishal, then and finally Pabna. Right? We have three cities. So the data is here. I can show you all the data that we have. I make it big slightly so that you can see better. All the data is here. So this is the data of the three city. You can see from here, months, Dhaka, Burishal, Pabna. So I have the data until 40 months data I have. Okay. Now from here, I can develop the VAR model and I can I, I can do necessary forecasting okay so I proceed with my model with this one okay so this is my data and I saw the model already so so first I do what first I go to just one minute okay so first I go to statistics to run the model the statistics then time series set up then declare to be time series data I select this one then I select the months we have the data already and then I press ok so so it has been done I make it slightly big if possible it is already big 12 is there ok now now I develop the VAR model I go to statistics as before then I go to the multivariate time series then I go to basic VAR okay then dependent variable here I take our three dependent variable Dhaka, Bodhishal and Pabna these three cities and suppose I take lag 2 because the lag selection criteria has advised me to take lag 2 that is why I am taking lag 2 right and then I press ok so it is the outcome of the VAR model we can see from here just one minute I set it little bit okay I have done it it is set it is the VAR model you can see so this is the VAR model Dhaka Burishal Pabna more more so this is the outcome of this VAR model and here I assume that all the variables are stationary that I assume because in VAR model the data must be stationary so I assume that assume that without checking that all variables are stationary okay so now now I can proceed now I can proceed for forecasting but before forecasting I must check I must check whether our VAR model has 
satisfied all the assumptions or not that I have to check meaning that diagnostic checking that I have to do first because only I can forecast a model which has no statistical problem ok now what I do so this is my VAR model ok first I check whether this VAR model has serial correlation or not that I check first ok so how to check I go to statistics as before then I go to multivariate time series then I go to VAR diagnostic then I check LM test for residual you can see from here LM test for residual autocorrelation that I select ok and here I take the maximum order is 2 meaning that I take maximum 2 lakh ok then I press ok so the result has come up the it is the, it is the it is the outcome of the uh, multi, uh, multiplier test and here our null hypothesis is what null is I make it big null is there is no serial correlation that is null and alternative is there is serial correlation in the VAR model ok here you can see also the null hypothesis is here no autocorrelation at lag order so at lag 1 the p-value is 35.51 percent meaning that more than 5 percent and also at lag 2 p-value is 69 percent which is more than 5 percent meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that there is no serial correlation in this VAR model as a whole so we are happy about the model ok now I can check whether our model uh, model the residual is normally distributed or not that I can check as before I go to statistics then multivariate time series then I go to VAR uh, uh, diagnostic then test for normally distributed that I select from here right I click it so here are a few things Jarkabera, skewness and cartesis ok here I select only Jarkabera right this test I only select then I press ok so you can see the Jarkabera test ok and here are three models Dhaka, Borishal, Pabna but here you can see Dhaka here what is the null hypothesis null is resi residuals are normally distributed that is the null alternative residuals are not normally distributed ok 
so here I can see Dhaka probability is 19.03 percent meaning that I cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that residuals are normally distributed and that is always always desirable what about Borishal? in case of Borishal, the p-value is 66.40 percent meaning that more than 5 percent also we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that residuals are normally distributed and that is desirable but in case of Pabna probability is very small meaning that we can reject the null hypothesis and can accept the alternative hypothesis meaning that residuals are not normally distributed and it is not desirable but out of three three model two are telling that out of three model right out of three model two are telling that residuals are normally distributed so so uh, so we can we can think that we can think that the residuals of this var model is normally distributed so so uh, we are happy about this model because in this var model there is no serial correlation and residuals are normally distributed so now we can go for forecasting we can go for forecasting as our var model has passed has passed the diagnostic checking okay and here we have data for 40 months that we have the data and my plan is to forecast my plan is to forecast into future meaning that meaning that into 24 months after 40 months the data we have that means that means uh, 24 months will be forecasted in this model using var approach okay now how to how to f f how to do do it so here I have to write the program so I have to write the program how you see first I have to write the command the command is FCST that I have to write then compute I have to compute I give it as m1 under slash comma then step 24 meaning that 24 months into future okay so that is my first command then enter okay then second command I have to write forecast by graph then m1 under slash under slash first our Dhaka city then m1 under slash 
then our second city is Borisha B A R I S L then our third city is Pabna I have to write all the cities right you can see from here this is my command I did it okay so I think I think my command is all right then press enter to get the result it is coming up result is coming up gradually you can see the results the result is here you can see so so here uh, you, you see that our data is already 40 months that we have but uh, but we have we have done we, we have done uh, we have done forecasting into 24 months ahead into future so you can see from here to here you can see from here to here you can see after 40 months from here to here meaning that uh, meaning that 40 plus 24 months meaning that uh, uh, 64 months here you can see 64 months right 40 months to 64 months into future that we have done here so here what we can see we can see the price of gases okay what about in Dhaka so the price of gas will remain unchanged in the future almost stable into future for the next 24 months and what about Borishal the price of gas price will go up slightly not much but what about in Pabna yes this one will also go up slightly not much that means price will also remain stable into future that 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 has been for forecasted in this VAR model. Thank you very much for being with me.